Hello everyone, and this is my review for WWE SmackDown on January 11th, 2013. And um, uh, to go to go on, to be honest, uh, for the most part, uh, they did do uh, they did do an okay job of at least getting people who were going to be in the Royal Rumble match out there and. Um, and, uh, can, and, you know, just keeping them exposed to everything. And honestly, for anybody who's in the Royal Rumble match at this point, at least for the big names, uh, it, it's okay at this point for them maybe not to have a uh, major storyline going into the actual pay-per-view itself. Uh, they can just do little tidbits, maybe get a little small story here and there uh, for them going into the match. Uh, you know, having... Uh, the Randy Orton Antonio Cesaro match. Uh, it, that was an extremely fun match. Also, I like the aspect of the Shield going back into there uh, and renewing their area with uh, Randy Orton that they had before. And hopefully that hopefully something that will be something that will continue going into the actual pay per view itself. They seem to have had. Uh, it seems like they might put a lot of focus on the uh, the Shield and Ryback and Randy Orton, maybe Sheamus will be in there because they've had him attack, had them attack Sheamus at one point as well. Maybe they'll reintroduce uh, Sheamus into that little portion of the feud as well. Uh, Sheamus again, also having a uh, three on one match with uh, with uh, 3MB. Uh, for the most part, that's what you're going to see. A lot of the uh, Royal Rumble contestants will be doing. They'll just be doing matches, uh, random matches with some other people. Maybe just having. Um, <clears throat> or maybe just, you know, in some kind of small feud with somebody who's also going to be in the Rumble match itself. So, uh, they did an okay job of dealing with that. Uh, uh, another area that I actually thought I actually ended up liking about the show was the fact that they, uh, they allowed Daniel Bryan to continue to play up the knee injury that he had from Raw. Um... When he did uh, when he did his typical backflip, they had him injure his knee. Uh, it was nice to see that they continued that going into the actual uh, SmackDown show itself. So that was a nice little tidbit there. Maybe they'll continue that into the actual uh, next match with uh, Damian Sandow and Co and Cody Rhodes for their tag team title match or whatever match is going to be up, going up next with them uh, with the tag titles here in the near future. Uh, the one one aspect I did not actually like about the show was the uh, mixed tag match with Dolph Ziggler, AJ, and the great Kali and Natalya. Um, it just it, it came off extremely weird. Obviously, it's uh, it's uh, the great Kali, so Dolph can't really do too terribly much within the match itself. Uh, but the the weirdness was uh, the way that they portrayed AJ trying to uh, go over on Natalia here, where she basically bit her uh, twice, once in the leg and then once like close to the ear or the face, and then performed her finisher. It really didn't do anything in my mind, and obvious outside of show, maybe showing how crazy she could actually be inside the ring at that point uh, at that point but it really didn't come off all that great in my mind also uh, B.E. Langston doing a, a you know basically showing off his power again doing his uh, finisher move to Hornswoggle uh, once again I mean he's doing it to Hornswoggle so that really doesn't show all that much it was really weird that they decided to put Dolph Ziggler and Big E Langston and AJ in there around the Natalia and Greg Kaliu and Horsewoggle little, uh, I, you can't really call it a stable, so I would say group in that, in that sense. So it really didn't come off all that great in my mind. Uh, another uh, another area, in the next two portions of the, of the show I actually did end up liking, which was... Uh, Again, the promos at Sun Life Stadium by CM Punk were a were once again great and getting a point across of what he wants to do with The Rock going into the pay per view itself, uh, and then of course the uh, the Rock's live interaction in there with the uh, with the crowd. Uh, it was great to see him doing his main focal point, his beginning focal point on the uh, on his match with CM Punk and. Uh, and interacting and trying to entertain the fans going in and going in there as well. Um, I like the little snippet afterwards with him and uh, Team Road Scholars with Damian Cena and Cody Rhodes. Uh, I liked how they did the questions. Eventually, it led to um, 
a rock bottom and people's elbow being delivered to both Damian Sano and Cody Rose. So that was a that was a nice fun segment in general there. So that was very enjoyable to watch. Uh, again, <clears throat> and that pretty much brings me to the last portion of the show, which was the Big Show Alberto Del Rio, which got changed at the beginning of the show to a last man standing match for the World Heavyweight title. Um, obviously, when Booker T did this, Big Show does come out and shows his disapproval. Uh, big, it looks like he's about to attack Booker T, and Alberto Del Rio makes the save in that sense. And, you know, it led to a, a couple other promos going right before the match. Well delivered. I, I'm like, I'm actually liking how they're making Alberto Del Rio a face now. They, they've they kind of given him a purpose of being a face. Uh, you know, he's out there helping Ricardo Rodriguez. Uh, and it definitely has come off a little bit better than some of their other face turns recently in my mind uh, the match itself was extremely fun to watch uh, obviously they they portrayed it as uh, big show dominating most of the match with little snippets here and there with uh, Alberto Del Rio getting control um, and basically the ending to the match itself I thought was a nice little uh, it was a nice creative way of attempting to do a finish to a last man standing match he uh, Alberto Del Rio knocks down Big Show a couple times with the uh, steel steps after hitting him a couple times with it and then tipping over the announcer's table on top of him so he has a harder time getting up which eventually causes him to win and win the World Heavyweight title there. Uh, like I said, it was a nice, a nice and creative way of ending the actual ma uh, match itself, giving it uh, you know, where it wasn't just Alberto Del Rio knocking out Big Show, but he had to also trap him under like, the announcer's table to actually get the job done. Uh, now, in this sense as well, uh, you know, it's not every day that they actually do a title change on SmackDown. I, uh, especially with a World Heavyweight title, it makes me wonder whether or not Big Show was actually hurt or something else was going down or they're just going in a different direction altogether at this point. It was nice to see, it's definitely nice to see it changes up the pace of the show. Uh, we've been seeing title changes on Raw and now with SmackDown here recently. Obviously, they don't want to make a big habit of it. You want to keep most of your title changes on pay-per-view, but it's nice to see the change of pace with seeing a title change, what you saw the Intercontinental title on Raw, and then a uh, world title change on SmackDown in general. So... Overall, I thought the show was uh, fairly good. Uh, obviously, it was nice seeing the world title change hands on SmackDown versus uh, having to wait for the pay-per-view. Um, this will probably lead to another match between the two of them, probably either with next week's SmackDown or at the at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view itself. So you obviously got a continuation with that uh, with that storyline with Del Rio and Big Show. Uh, we'll see if they actually want to interact Dolph Ziggler in there with cashing in Money in the Bank in some way, shape, or form. But uh, we'll see where they go with that. So overall, I felt the show was well done. It, it got the point. It definitely got their points across with what they wanted to do for the Royal Rumble. Uh, no new matches created for the Royal Rumble, but overall, a relatively good show. And that's my review for SmackDown this week. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed.